Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to make these cute king pig cookies from the app game Angry Birds. So stay tuned and I'll show you how. Here are the things that I used. A king pig cookie cutter and I got that from Etsy.com. Some edible blue pearls, black food coloring, lemon yellow, kelly green, leaf green, a little bit of electric green is optional. And it has some edible food markers, those are optional as well and some tweezers to help me with the pearls. All right guys, let's get started. All right guys, really quickly, I wanna show you how to put the crown on the little pig. That way you can become the king pig. Now, um, when you buy the king pig, you don't need to buy another one of these to make the green pig, because you can just use it like this, and that will give you the little green pig. But to make it the king pig, you will have to attach the little uh, crown. As you see there, you have to do it separately, and then you will attach it there on top of the head, like I will show you now. And then just leave it on there like that, and it'll bake together, and it won't have a problem with coming off. It'll um, merge there nicely and bake together. So I just wanted to let you know how you can uh, make your little green pig into a king pig by attaching the crown at the top. All right, guys, so as you see here, the crown did bake nicely on there, so it's attached really nicely there. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to use the little nose uh, cookie a cutter piece that comes with this uh, kit and I'm going to use my edible marker to trace in the inside just to help me give me some guidelines now for the eyes they have pretty big eyes so I'm just gonna do like sort of a um, half circle around right on the side of the nose they're going to kind of look googly eyed once we put the icing, icing in there and then the um, the black dots for the eyes. So now I'm going to outline the entire cookie except for the crown. Number one tip in black, I'm going to outline the eyes. in the nose and all around the cookie. Just want to make sure that you do your line straight around. Doesn't come out too crooked. Okay, now I'm gonna do the outline. This the next day uh, I outlined this last night so it doesn't necessarily have to be left um, overnight if you do it earlier if you can leave it for a couple hours or so but I did it pretty late so um, I had to do it the next day so as you see there I just fill in the entire piggy now this has a lot of room that I need to fill in so I have to work rather quickly but carefully that I don't go over my black lines or I'll flood it over. Okay, so I'm going to let this um, crust just a second while I finish the rest of them. And then I'm going to go in with the nose and then the white and then we can do the crown. Alright guys, so now I'm going to do the crown. No particular reason, I just want to get that top over with and that way I can work with the bottom here last. So I'm just gonna take my yellow. I have a number one tip since I have a really small space that I'm working here. And I'm gonna use these little uh, pearls, uh, the blue ones, because he has um, like three little gems on his, uh, or it probably goes all around, but since we're just working on the front here. I'm, putting, I'm gonna put three of them. You can also pipe them if you don't have these available. You can just uh, get some blue icing and just do three dots to serve as the gems on his crown. I'm just gonna use those because I think they look really neat. 
and I didn't want to do any blue icing. And I'm going to select just three of these, just kind of random. And there's a little space that's sticking out where they are supposed to go. You can still see it after you put your icing. They go right there. And uh, I'll push it in a little, that way you don't want to come out. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and fill in the nose part. I'm using a number one tip, but you can use a number two, it'll fill it in faster. I did mix leaf green with electric uh, green by Americolor, and the leaf green was from Wilton. So it's time for the eyes, and I have both my white and my black in a number one tip. So I'm just going to fill these in and put the little eye, like little pupil, black dot in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and do his eyebrows. Eyebrows give him a little bit of character since he is um, kind of mad. Get him a little curled, like a little curve eyebrow. Okay, so now I'm going to do the ears and the nostrils here lightly. Use my mirror color, which is one of my favorite ones to use in black when I have to do shading and stuff like that because it covers quite a bit of area very quickly and the point is very soft too and it gives a lot of ink. So it works very well. So what I'm going to do here somewhat of a upside down triangle-ish sort of like a teardrop if you see there and here i'm going to make two nostrils same shape just larger i'm gonna do it really softly because i can tell this is very very soft still it hasn't dried enough that's why when i say to give it couple hours I really mean give it a couple hours because I am walking on eggshells here it is very very moist still oh I highly recommend getting these markers the Americolor I like them way better than the Wilton but um, I also love my uh, rainbow dusk uh, one with the two ends. I really like those as well. Okay, so uh, here I'm just going to give it a really um, small, kind of like a, a smiley little smirk. And if you do a lot of these, you can give them different mouths. Like, or you don't have to. You can leave it like this one here, just plain. Kind of looks a little mad. What I do here is just give it a little bit of an oval outline with my marker and then I go with my red and a little bit of a medium consistency in a one tip and I'm just going to put it right in the center like that and bring it down a little because I don't want it to be too high because it's not like a tongue it's just to make him look kind of like confused like that. So I'm going to let these dry a little bit just to um, lose some of this uh, shine from what I just did. And that'll be all. Alright guys, that is all. I did get this cookie cutter from Etsy.com. I don't know if it's still available. I did get this a few months ago along with the other Angry Bird cookie cutter. So I'm not sure if it's still available, but it is Etsy.com. And uh, I wanted to also let you know, uh, give these cookies a, a minimum of a good two hours of dry time before you draw on them. That way you can avoid puncturing your icing. 
Uh, you could also pipe the nostrils and the mouth and the ear parts if you wish or if you don't have the edible markers available you can do that as well and I believe that is all guys so stay tuned for more I have a few more Angry Bird themed cookies that I want to share with you so stay tuned for that upload and I thank you so much for watching don't forget to thumbs up the video if you enjoyed it uh, subscribe if you haven't done so and I will talk to you soon. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and have a good one.